is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak with the taurine jailbreak which was just released yesterday uh, my apologies for being a day late on this I was actually um, out of town for the day um, and I actually thought <laughs> I thought it was a April Fool's joke at first when I seen oh taurine just came out but it's April 1st but it, it is legit it is out and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install it uh, so this is the Taurine website here. I'll leave a link for it down in the description. Uh, this jailbreak will support iOS 14.0 to 14.3. So kind of kind of the same as Uncover, iOS 14.0 to 14.3. So if you guys have a uh, newer device, this would be iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 11, or 12, and you're on 14.4 or 14.4, Point one or 14.4.2 there's actually no current jailbreak out yet for those firmwares at least as of the making of this video if you guys have older iPhones um, there is the check rain jailbreak that you can jailbreak up to the newest iOS which would be 14.4.2 I'll leave my video link for the check rain jailbreak down in the description uh, but like I said we're gonna install taurine now I'm just gonna use the uh, alt store method just because that's the method that I use to install uh, jailbreak um, applications and utilities um, if you guys do not have a computer um, and can't get alt store there you can do the third party application store method I don't really cover that on the channel anymore because it's not something I personally ever use and nowadays they're just super frustrating because they'll be signed for one day and then they're revoked to the next and it's just like an endless battle so I don't really cover that kind of stuff uh, but I'll, I'll give you guys a couple of ideas you could check out maybe tutu box or you could check out app valley uh, I'm not sure if they're signed currently or not. Like I said, they're they're constantly trying to get them signed, and then they get revoked, and it's just a, it's just a big headache. That's why I like to use the Alt Store method. Uh, if you guys want to see how to get Alt Store uh, with a Mac or Windows computer, I'll leave the video link for that in the description as well, so you guys can see how to install Alt Store. Uh, but like I said, we're going to use that to install it. So I'm just going to jump into Safari here. I'll leave the link for the Taurine jailbreak down in the description to this website here and we'll just scroll down here. I'm actually pretty excited about this jailbreak um, just because uh, <clears throat> as you can see there's some, some cool stuff we got fast really fast uh, a path to openness so it's uh, you know it's open source which is really cool uh, power users welcome um, I know some people are gonna ask me if do I like uncover better or not um, and I have been testing out on the iPhone 10 here I did use Odyssey Rain to get uh, Cilio on there, um, and I'll probably do like a versus video here soon, like uh, Check Rain versus Uncover versus Taurine to give you guys my opinion. Um, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and let's let's get this uh, let's get this IPA installed here. So uh, as you can see, there's a button right here, Install via Alt Store. Literally, all you gotta do is click on uh, Open in Alt Store. I'll click on Open, and now it is loading. The application in there as you guys can see and there we go as you can see it did install the taurine jailbreak now I want to mention really quickly if you guys are switching from the uncovered jailbreak to use the taurine jailbreak you you must restore your root file system before you switch jailbreaks you have to do this I'm pretty sure you will royally mess something up if you don't do it um, so what you got to do here is quickly go into uncover when you're in the um, unjailbroken state you go to the little gear here and then you just turn on uh, restore root file system click on no on automatic updates uh, and then run the jailbreak so it will remove all of the contents of the uncovered jailbreak out of your root file system. You must do this if you're going to switch from uncover to the taurine jailbreak. So I've already done this and I have done a video on how to restore the root file system. If you guys don't know exactly how it works, just check out the video link in the description where I demonstrate restoring the root file system. But we, we need to get rid of basically everything that comes with the uncovered jailbreak because the taurine jailbreak is going to have different um, assets and utilities that it uses that are different from uncover 
So you must restore that root file system before you run Taurine. But as you can see, Taurine does open up here. As you can see, uh, I just really like the interface. It's super simple. Um, there's themes and you can customize, but I'm just, I'm just gonna jailbreak. Let's just jailbreak it. Let's see how long this takes. I kind of want to do a, a versus, uh, like what's the fastest jailbreak method, like check rain versus taurine versus uncover. What, which one will jailbreak your iPhone the fastest and stuff like that. I got a lot of, a lot of cool ideas lined up, but it is, uh, running the exploit. Please wait. So re reboot required. Okay. So we're just going to have to do a reboot here and then we'll have to re jailbreak. Uh, seems to be doing the same steps as uncover. On a side note, uh, for those of you that have to get the the jailbreak from a third party app store like Tutu Box or or App Valley or wh wherever you find it that's currently signed, um, once you get the jailbreak, um, you can get Alt Store uh, through Cydia or Cilio. Uh, no uh, no computer needed. So once you get the jailbreak utility, make sure you install the no computer needed Alt Store. Uh, video link for that would be in the description as well. There's going to be a bunch of videos in the description uh, that you guys will find to be very useful for getting your jailbreak up and running and maintaining your jailbreak as well so that your um, your jailbreak app does not get revoked because you can auto sign it yourself um, until the end of days if you wanted to. So just check out the description. There's going to be a lot of goodies there, but looks like we're doing a, another boot here. So it looks like we're in a boot loop. This is actually kind of cool. I love it when jailbreaks cause my iPhones to go into boot loops because then I can demonstrate uh, how to get out of a boot loop because I think this is something that will catch people up all the time. And I'm just going to go ahead and wait for the Apple logo to, to appear. And now I'm going to do a hard reboot on this iPhone and this should fix the boot loop. I'm not sure what caused it, but every once in a while, like uncover and uh, jailbreaks just will do this where they cause a boot loop. Okay, let's see if I got it first try. So basically what I did is when the Apple logo um, went away, I waited for it to appear. And as soon as the Apple logo appeared, I did the hard reboot on the 10s Max, which is volume up, volume down, and then I held the side button. And as you can see, that's how you got uh, that's how I got out of the boot loop. So I'm glad it did that so you guys can see how to get out of that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and run the jailbreak again here. And let's just see what happens. So be very patient. That took it quite a while there. At least a minute or so to go through that process. And as you can see, it's doing different stuff now this time. I'm not sure what it's doing. This is pretty interesting though. It said it was in installing Cilio. So hopefully that's what it's doing. Looks like it might be doing a reboot now. Hopefully it's booting up into the jailbroken state and not getting stuck in a boot loop again. Hey, all right, let's uh, let's unlock. And there we go, there's Cilio. So we can go ahead and launch that. And we are jailbroken with the Taurine jailbreak. Uh, like I said, guys, if you guys are switching from Uncover, restore your root file system before you do this. That is essential. I'll probably do a, a standalone video demonstrating how to switch from uncover to touring and then I'll do it the other way around. I'll do it switching from touring to uncover. Uh, so if you guys do get this jailbreak and you don't like it and you want to go back to uncover, I'll have you guys um, covered for those. Once those videos are uploaded and live, I'll have them listed in the description as well with all the other videos that I mentioned for you guys. But um, as you can see, we can go in here. We got some some package uh, updates. We're going to update all just to show you guys that it's working here on iOS 14. Um, this 10s max is on 14.0.1 and it seems to be fine aside from getting in the boot loop But like I said, I love it when it does that stuff because then I can demonstrate uh, To you guys how to get out of get out of that pickle basically and get your your iPhone working again So let's do restart Cilio and it looks like everything's up to date on there So uh, that's how you can jailbreak with Taurine. Like I said, there's gonna be a bunch of video links in the description uh, to help you guys out with a, with various different things 
uh, with the iOS 14 jailbreak stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.